In this video, we are going to see how to use the Mistral AI API. That's going to be simple. So what is an API? An API is a way for you to be able to do, to perform whatever you want, because the chat Mistral is a user interface. So you cannot use it for all your projects. Just imagine, for example, that you like to add a button on your website when you click on it. A joke is made and the joke is displayed. Well, you cannot on your website embed a website such as this one and asking people to write the question and stuff. It doesn't work this way. So uh, an API is here in order to make a direct request to the server of Mistral AI in order to then output you uh, the answer. So of course it requires some coding, but it's not that difficult as we now have some AI to do the code for us, but at least we need to have a general understanding of what is happening. So the first thing is to have an authorization. The authorization is given through what we call a token, and that's what you can get when you go over here in the uh, admin UI of Mistral AI. And then you go within API key, you click here on create a new key, then you get a new key, and then you can use this token, which is going to play the role of credentials in order to be able to perform the request. Keep in mind that when are you going to use those uh, requests, those keys, then uh, you're going to get some usage and based on the usage and the model that you use. So the more the model is powerful, the more it's going to charge you. So to say if you are using a small model such as um, the one I'm going to use right now, it's not going to charge you much. But if you start to use medium or large model, which are more complicated and require more Power, high chances that you can see that some of your requests will cost you uh, some sense of your own. Okay, so at this step now, you are able to create a token. So you just go over here, you create a new token. Then you need a code. The code is uh, the programming language in order to make the request to the server of Mistral AI and give the instruction of what you would like to do. If you're not a uh, developer, well, you should basically have a basic understanding of what the AI is going to output you. In my case, I used the chat mistral in order to uh, create the script and I wasn't, let's say, happy with the output of uh, the chat mistral. So I cheat a little bit and I use a uh, chat GPT in order to create uh, the script. I wasn't happy neither with the scripts uh, outputted by ChatGPT. So I went on the documentation of Mistral AI for the API, and then I copy and paste it, and I used over here a plugin from ChatGPT, which is called WebPilot, uh, from which you can uh, give a knowledge base, so to set the documentation of Mistral API, in order for ChatGPT to be able to output me the script that I wanted. That after this, I just copy and paste, put it uh, in a... Um, uh, in a um, coding uh, software, and then I was able to execute the script. Uh, so what does it look like? Uh, so this is the script that I copy and paste. And in addition to that, I added here the token that I wanted. Once you get this, you can uh, save it on your computer. Then on your computer, you need to have Python uh, installed. So Python is a programming language in order to execute some coding. And you will need as well to have as libraries uh, the request and the JSON, which are two very popular libraries. Once you have so, well, uh, your script is ready to go. So if you just uh, execute the script such as I'm doing now, you're going to have a new joke, I guess. Um, why is it exactly the same joke? So I'm currently looking at why don't say antistress. Okay, can I have another one, please? Okay, so it's still, it's always the same joke, which I think is not funny. So as a result, I'm going to change over here and I'm going to go to uh, another model of Mistral in order to have joke, which are, let's say, uh, funnier, uh, small latest, small latest. Okay, let's uh, take another model. What do we have? Um, I guess we can get the medium uh, one. So uh, response sample models and if I um, OK, 
okay okay and if i say well anyway i'm going to just change it straight away over here so instead of more latest for medium model and let's see how it reacts Uh huh. Exactly the same one. Okay. Um, so let's change it a little bit. Tell me a joke about plants. Let's see. Maybe you needed a different one because in that it has an history or something. And uh, what do you call a country where women drive a red car with carnations of plants? Okay, and that's it. I get my uh, my new joke. And that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video. So keep in mind that using the API allow you to use the AI outside of its user interface. In order to use it, you need to have what we call a token. So it's an authorization in order to call the server of Mistral AI. Then you need some code. So the code, you can uh, produce it with an artificial intelligence. going to make you the script. If you are unsure about the script or if it's not acting as you wish, you just go on the official documentation and you pass this documentation to your AI so it can get a clear understanding of what's going on. And then you get your script that you can then reuse and make uh, jokes or any other thing.